Hey guys, happy Friday. Yay, it's Friday. It's the last day of the week. Only four days this week. Isn't that super? Okay, so quick assignment today for reading. I hope you really enjoyed the science article, A Protected Place. Now I want you to look for main ideas and details. Okay, so you're going to complete the main idea and detail diagram for a protected place on the next slide. Okay, so it looks like this. Now, one of my favorite strategies for filling out diagrams or thinking maps or anything like that, or questions, I always go back into the story. I'll open up my book again. I'll go back into the story and reread if I can't remember something. We read the story yesterday. So what I want you to do is get your book out and look for some supporting details, okay? So the main idea I already gave you. The main idea is the Okapi Reserve is an amazing place full of amazing plants. Two supporting details that tell me what about the Okapi Reserve is amazing about their plants? What about it? Give me some details. So like you're kind of proving the fact that the Okapi has amazing plants, okay? Then you're gonna type them in right here. You're gonna type in two details, okay? Then you're almost done. After you're done with the main idea and details, it's time to take a quiz. And you guys are gonna do amazing on this quiz. I know it because we've been practicing main idea and inferencing for quite a while now. So now you're gonna be quizzed on your skills, which you all got skills, show them off, okay? Celebrate them, you guys are doing amazing. Okay, so it's time to take a quiz. You will be quizzed on your main idea and inferencing skills. There are only four questions, guys. You can do it, I know you can. So please click on the Google form link below and take the quiz. So if you click on the purple form, look how it comes up at the bottom. You're gonna click on the form and it's going to take you to your comprehension quiz. Now, here are the directions. Read the questions carefully, then choose an answer. Do your best and do not rush. Okay, remember I said only four questions. Now let's look here, you guys. Here is question number one, after you tell me who your teacher is. Okay, question number one, read the article and answer the question. Which sentence below best tells the main idea of the article? Okay, so I know what I'm reading for. I'm looking for the main idea of this article called Giant Pumpkins. Okay, so let's read it together first. Are you ready? Every fall, farmers set pumpkins in markets. I'm sorry, let me start again. <laughs> Every fall, farmers sell pumpkins in markets. Most of the pumpkins weigh 10 to 30 pounds. People usually, people use them to make bread, pies, and soups. At Halloween, they carve pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. Giant pumpkins are much larger than the ones you usually see. Some weigh more than 800 pounds. Wow. It takes a lot of work to grow giant pumpkins. First, you need the right seeds, most pumpkins grow from seeds that are about a half inch long. Giant pumpkin seeds are more than one inch long. Giant pumpkins need special care. They should get plant food and be watered often. It's better if the water is warm and not cold. Sometimes it helps to put out blankets on the giant pumpkins to keep them warm. Giant pumpkins didn't 
like oh, giant pumpkins don't like direct sunlight. Some people use brown sacks to shade their pumpkins. This protection helps the pumpkins grow larger. How big can a giant pumpkin grow? In 2008, Jake Van Kooten grew a giant pumpkin. It weighed more than oh, 1,535 pounds. That is one giant pumpkin. So now you're gonna look for the main idea, okay? So pick the correct main idea, then you're gonna go down to number two. Now number two, is on the same article, okay? So every question is on the giant pumpkin article. So you're gonna do great. All right, guys, don't forget to turn in your slides and have a wonderful weekend. See you soon.